Right, got a warm flow Agentis 21 kilowatt internal boiler. Never done one of these before. Um, first of all, you've got to connect the part there to the boiler. The main concern is I'm going to show you how to cut the thing, show you what I've done. So get your boiler in position. You got to make your hole. This is the original hole through the wall. That's why it's square. Make a decent high size hole through the wall. And you've got these flange things. One on internal. Obviously covers up any imperfections in the hole there. And one external there. Now to measure it, there's the flow. Put a bit of this on there. Silicon lube. Don't go too far wrong. And on the other bit. Now, through your opening in the wall, obviously I'm going to push this all in place. So the black thing there has got to go into that socket and at the back, all the way in, to make sure it's all home properly. So if you get that. in there yeah look I've put my saw so it's poking out the wall all the excess there's the hole I want to mark out where the wall is so I put my saw against the wall there's your line anyway you can see where I've marked it so that will be there put the mark there like that then Basically, I need to transfer that measurement there from there to the end there on from there to there. So from there to there, I shall measure that there and then measure that to there. Then I should be able to cut the flow. If you remember my measurements, that's the wall, there was a bit I said cut, now I can't take this cap end off, so I'm going to measure from here, measure from there to where the cut is, that's 41.5 centimetres, so now I'm going to measure from there, right at the end, to there which is 41.5 so I need to do the cut there obviously I've got the black inner liner that's still in the flow that's got to be I think 40 mil protruding from there so the cut on that will have to be push that back in the tube and it's got to protrude 40 mil mark that with a tape measure wrapping it right around the pipe and then you follow around the tape measure like I've done with a pencil if you haven't got a chop saw uh, see nice straight line follow that with it put it on a bench you can cut that with a hand saw but I'm going to probably cut mine with a chop saw so chop it with a chop saw or a hand saw it's up to you Cut's done, so I've just got to cut the inner bit of the pipe now, and I've worked out I need 40 mil from there to there, so I need to mark that now and cut the same. You could either do it with a handsaw, like I said. One other little tip, what I didn't know before, look, if you turn this thing, oh, hold on some grip on it this is that inner part there look if you turn it got like a seal on there and if you put silicon grease that comes out a lot easier but that goes in slots in there like so you see so as I said next stage 40 mil cut. 
and you can finish off any little burrs shamp that right off with a file then once you've chamfered your end you've got the stabilizing bit that goes over there in there just to centralize just centralizes your pipe there now I'm gonna put the sleeve back on but I'm gonna do it all up and I'm gonna silicon it up first spray the silicon round on the seal and put the clip back over and try and slide the pipe in okay that worked well so I put the sleeve back on before, siliconed it up, and pushed all the pipe in, make sure it all fits in there snug. That's easier than leaving the sleeve off and then trying the sleeve afterwards once it's in. Perfect. There's me um, air vent coming out that side. Uh, then you've got your internal collar and external collar on the outside. Obviously this was originally a square flue so I'm gonna have to make that good with some cement and a little bit of bricks but I don't want to brick the whole thing up really really tight I want to leave a little bit of a gap so I might put some um, some fiberglass sort of padding around the center just to give it sort of I don't know five mil all the way around and then the, the sleeve things will push over nicely, snug into that then, finish that off nice. Yeah, so I've just put some of the old boiler insulation with the foil around it, just packs it out. Five mil all the way around. I don't really want the mortar to adhere to it really. Um, then I'll just poke that in there and it gives me a little bit of flexibility, that's all.